In the year 950 BC, King Solomon ruled Jerusalem. He was renowned for his unparalleled knowledge and wisdom, and he was favored by God. In stark contrast to his father David, renowned for his military prowess and the expansion of ancient Israel through conquests and annexations of territories, Solomon's legacy diverges along a different path. History remembers Solomon not for the clash of swords and territorial acquisitions, but for his wisdom and statesmanship. Unlike the tumultuous era of his father, Solomon's reign is marked by a unique distinction. He stands as the sole king in the annals of Israelite history who refrained from engaging in wars, rather than pursuing the traditional routes of territorial expansion through military might. Solomon's rule was characterized by diplomatic finesse and sagacity. His wisdom became the cornerstone of his reign, attracting alliances and trade, rather than engaging in the battlefield skirmishes that had defined his father's era. The pages of history turn, revealing a monarch whose strength lay not in the clashing of armies, but in the art of governance, trade agreements, and the construction of the iconic temple in Jerusalem. Solomon's reign, bathed in the glow of intellectual brilliance and peaceful prosperity, emerges as a contrasting chapter to the martial exploits of David. It is a testament to the multifaceted nature of leadership, one that showcases the transformative power of wisdom over warfare and establishes Solomon as a singular figure in the ancient Israel's history. Solomon lived an extraordinary life. His mastery extended far beyond the mere elements of nature. He became a luminary in the realms of ancient arts, poetry, and music, his intellect and creative prowess weaving a narrative of cultural brilliance. The whispers of his accomplishments reverberated through distant lands and his reputation transcended the boundaries of wise rulership. Solomon was an intellectual who also delved into the intricacies of ancient arts, infusing creativity into his reign. His poetic expressions flowed like a river of eloquence, capturing the essence of his wisdom in verses that resonated through the corridors of time. Music, too, became an instrument through which he conveyed the harmonies of his enlightened rule. Yet, with such multifaceted brilliance, whispers of awe and mystery surrounded him. His mastery was so profound that, beyond the realm of wisdom, some began to view him not merely as a sagacious ruler but as a figure endowed with mystical powers, an enchanter of ancient arts, and a sorcerer who held the secrets of the mystical world. Solomon's legacy therefore became a mixture of wisdom, artistic finesse, and a touch of mysticism. Whether seen as a sovereign who harnessed the elements of nature, or as a conjurer of ancient arts, his reputation echoed through the ages, leaving an indelible mark on the perception of leadership, intellect, and the arcane. Whether humans or spirits feared him. His influence was so profound that kings and queens from near and far came to witness his opulence, wisdom, and mystical aura. Solomon adorned himself with the epitome of elegance, donning garments made from the finest linen. This attention to luxurious attire became another facet of his grandeur, enhancing the magnificence of his rule and further contributing to the awe and admiration surrounding King Solomon's name. Solomon's love for women was a chapter written in the eloquence of his poetry and the melodies of his music. His proficiency in these arts became a magnetic force that drew women to him like petals to the sun. In the lyrical cadence of his verses, Solomon painted portraits of passion and tenderness. His poetic expressions was woven with romantic hues and became a serenade to the hearts of those who listened. His ability to articulate the intricacies of love and desire, wrapped in the richness of metaphor and symbolism, created an enchanting allure that captivated the souls of those fortunate enough to be the objects of his affection. Solomon used music as a profound expression of his deepest emotions. His harmonies were not mere notes. They were love letters intricately written in melodies. His music resonate with the depth of his sentiments, creating a timeless symphony that spoke volumes beyond the capacity of words. In the enchanting melodies he crafted, Solomon immortalized his emotions, leaving a legacy of love that transcends the boundaries of time, echoing through the ages as a testament to the enduring power of art and emotion. Despite his many wives and concubines, Solomon remained discontent. 
there existed a solitary woman who never graced the scene to pay homage. Of all the rulers of the kingdoms of the world, her absence was conspicuous. Whether it was a deliberate choice or a consequence of unseen circumstances, her refusal to be part of the homage-paying audience heightened the intrigue. The enigma surrounding this Nubian queen's deliberate distance only deepened and heightened his curiosity. The tale of the dazzling, dark-skinned damsel constantly reached Solomon's ears like a melody carried by the winds of distant lands. It was a tale recounted by the merchants from whom Solomon purchased materials for building the temple, whose narratives painted her beauty with vivid strokes. Intrigued, Solomon found himself captivated by the enchanting story of this woman, whom they say her beauty rivaled that of a goddess. The mere mention of her name became a refrain echoing in his thoughts, inviting him into a realm of curiosity and fascination, a prelude to a chapter of his life that would be written in the hues of romance and mystery. And so he set out on a quest in search of this bell. He embarked on a journey with a great retinue, with camels bearing spice, gold, and precious stones to meet her, traversing deserts and seas to reach Ethiopia, the land of the dark-skinned people, there he encountered Queen Makeba of Sheba. The moment Solomon's eyes beheld the Queen of Sheba, time seemed to pause, and the air shimmered with an ethereal glow. In that instance, he stood captivated, his breath caught in the awe of her presence. Her beauty, far surpassing the tales that had reached him, unfolded before him like a masterpiece unveiled. The Queen's regal grace and beauty surpassed the boundaries of his imagination, leaving him in silent reverence. Her every movement seemed choreographed by an unseen force and her gaze held a depth that spoke of untold stories. Solomon, renowned for his wisdom, found himself momentarily at a loss for words, swept away by the radiance of her being, but concealed his surprise. Yet within the depths of his heart, a desire emerged. His entire soul began yearning for her as a prized jewel waiting to be possessed. The reality of her beauty surpassed the narratives whispered by merchants and surpassed the sketches painted by their tales. In the presence of the Queen of Sheba, Solomon discovered a beauty that transcended the limitations of description, a beauty that stirred his soul and left an indelible mark on him. Queen Makeba was as wise and knowledgeable as Solomon, and her kingdom prospered. She had heard tales of Solomon's vast knowledge and wisdom, how other kingdoms revered him, However, armed with her own wit, she was not ready to yield to his whims and caprices. But however, she equally shared a profound passion for the arts, poetry, and music, aligning her interests harmoniously with his own. Their meeting was marked by a lavish feast, exotic foods, and enchanting music. Though charmed by Queen Makeba's grace and vast knowledge, Solomon's oratory prowess, however, left her in awe. Despite their connection, Makeba hesitated, but she had never wanted anything more than a man who portrayed the attributes of divinity as what Solomon represented. History has it that Solomon was the greatest seducer that ever lived, and Makeba, in spite of her wits, fell into his charm and caprice. She became pregnant, bore a son, and named him Menelik, meaning son of a wise man. And when it became time for King Solomon to return to Jerusalem, she chose not to accompany him. Solomon loved her and did all he could to take her with him, yet she refused. Queen Makeba, unyielding in her commitment to her kingdom and people, resolved to sever the ties that bound her to Solomon. With a heart heavy with determination, she devised a plan shrouded in deception. Faced with the weight of her decision, she lied to Solomon. She declared that he was not the father of her child and to intensify the pain, professed that she was actually in love with one of the palace nobles. The air thickened with the intensity of her choice, a dramatic unraveling of a once-blossoming connection, leaving echoes of heartbreak and betrayal in its wake. So she invited King Solomon to the garden, where they usually meet in the cool of the evening. On his arrival, he saw Queen Makeba in the arms of a palace noble. She never meant to shatter his heart, but it was a ploy to make him believe he wasn't the father of Manalik. With his wealth and wisdom, he thought he could get whatever thing on earth he wanted, but this woman, who was near a goddess, had become an object beyond his possession. Despite his eloquent oratory prowess, 
Her decision remained unswayed, leaving him to feel like a mere pawn in the grasp of her fingers. Devastated by the turn of events, he retraced his steps back to Jerusalem. However, the ache of heartbreak lingered, a constant reminder that Makiba had etched herself indelibly into the chambers of his heart. The echoes of their time together resonated, leaving an enduring imprint that time and distance couldn't erase. In Jerusalem, amid the familiar surroundings, his heart carried the weight of the memories and the longing for a connection that seemed to endure beyond physical proximity. Spending the rest of his days repenting of his immoral ways and worshipping in the temple he built for God. In the interim, Menelik, the son of Queen Mechaba of Sheba, held sway as the ruler of Ethiopia, a legacy that endured for centuries until the 20th century. The once unbroken line of their dynasty faced a significant juncture when Emperor Haile Selassie, in an epical moment, dethroned the age-old lineage marking a profound shift in Ethiopia's governance and history. The transition from Menelik's rule to Emperor Haile Selassie's era ushered in a new chapter, encapsulating the intricate history of King Solomon's legacy in Ethiopia's dynastic evolution.